qualified versus non-qualified investments in IRAs, and 401 Ks. The investment landscape can get about as clear as the fog that blankets the Willamette River on a Portland morning. But when you're navigating the world of IRAs and 401 Ks, you want clarity, especially when your future retirement is hanging in the balance. Qualified Investments Now, when it comes to qualified investments within IRAs and 401 Ks, you're looking at stuff that's been given the thumbs up by Uncle Sam. We're talking broadly about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, exchange-traded funds, and CDs, certificates of deposit. These are your mainstream investment vehicles. They're on the nice list because they typically comply with the IRS's requirements for retirement accounts and enjoy certain tax advantages. For example, with a traditional IRA, you contribute pre-tax dollars. That money grows tax-deferred and you only pay taxes when you take the money out in retirement. Distributions are taxed as ordinary income, which might be a nice break if you're in a lower tax bracket by then. Roth IRAs flip that script. You use after-tax dollars. But the growth and qualified distributions are tax-free like an eternal happy hour, as long as the IRS's rules are followed. 401 Ks have a similar story, with traditional ones offering pre-tax contributions and Roth versions, like their IRA cousins, favoring after-tax contributions for tax-free withdrawals later on. Non-Qualified Investments Then, on the flip side, you have non-qualified investments. These are the investments the IRS side-eyes, and generally won't let near your tax-advantaged retirement accounts. I'm talking about life insurance, antiques, certain types of coins, and those get-rich-quick-with-real-estate deals you might see at 2 a.m. on a sketchy infomercial. Why the cold shoulder? The IRS wants to keep your retirement accounts, well, for retirement. They prefer investments that can be valued daily, and have a more predictable growth path, not something that can swing wildly in value or be tough to liquidate if you need the cash when you retire. Investing in non-qualified assets within an IRA or a 401 K isn't just frowned upon. It can seriously mess up your tax situation and may lead to penalties. It's like touching the third rail on the max light rail, not a wise move. The takeaway. Here's the skinny. Sticking with qualified investments within your IRA or 401k means playing ball with the IRS's rules, which is usually a good idea if you aren't eager to bump heads with the tax man. These investments can provide the foundation for a sturdy retirement plan, allowing you to grow your nest egg with certain tax protections. On the other hand, dabble in non-qualified investments, and you might not only risk the tax benefits of your retirement accounts, but could trigger a financial migraine that no amount of voodoo donuts can cure. So, when it's time to lay down your cash for your future beach chair days, make sure you're plugging into investments that won't send shockwaves through your retirement savings. After all, isn't financial security in retirement what this is all about? Keep it simple, keep it smart, and keep it qualified. That's how you build a solid financial future, one qualified investment at a time.